What's going on everybody? 915 Mang here doing a video today. I'm going to cover a lot of good things in the tank, what's going on and things like that. But more importantly, Memorial Day weekend is upon us. Just want to take a time, uh, remember all of the fallen troops, um, brothers and sisters, men and women who uh, pay the ultimate sacrifice in the uh, military. I do have a flag on the side of my aquarium. Uh, the reason why is just for the active duty people out there, people like Eddie and Genesis out there who are actively serving in the military. I'll take it down once the uh, US and the rest of the countries are done fighting these terrorists. I'm gonna go ahead and change it up, switch gears a little bit, uh, show you a full tank shot of my 180 gallon reef tank. You know, this is going to be a coral update, animal update, fish tank update. But the thing is, I just love doing these videos because uh, I love sharing the experience of having a reef tank. You know, coming home to a reef tank after whatever's going on in uh, your life and then just seeing, you kind of forget about all the uh, other nonsense. I think reefing brings people together. If doesn't matter if you're... Uh, from the East Coast, West Coast, Canada, UK, um, Germany. It's awesome. And uh, especially here on the YouTube, I've been watching your guys' videos. I would like to catch up on uh, some of your guys' live streams. I know um, Rico's always doing it. I'd like to check him out and uh, just go on there and mess around and uh, say what's up. It's always a lot of fun to catch up on your guys' videos. I really enjoyed the uh, Reef Builders uh, video. Uh, of course, because I didn't get a, get a chance to swing down to Orlando or even New York or anything like that. Um, I'm all the way at the very edge of uh, West Texas, so it's kind of hard to just go out there and catch up. But I appreciate you guys doing your videos. It's a lot of fun uh, watching them. Now with my tank, all I've been doing is doing a couple of frags. Um, I kind of made a thing of egg crate. It's suspended by the braces on the top of the tank. And uh, what I did, I cut up some uh, stylos. Uh, this uh, toadstool had some uh, zoa growing on the bottom. And so I put it on a disc in hopes that that zoa will grow on that uh, little disc. Um, as you can see, uh, these are the uh, zoas that I had cut up. Um, the video on the top is uh, of the, the actual zoas that I did cut up and the one on the bottom is what I cut up with the new greens healed up, um, the stylos and everything like that. As you can see, I'm starting to run out of room on the bottom of my sand bed. My sand bed is uh, without sand and it's mainly just a frag disc. Um, I do like these frag discs. I picked them up on Amazon. Um, it was kind of a risk because I'd never had got them before. It was a hundred frags for like 30 something bucks. and. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. I still have quite a few left and then I also have uh, regular frag plugs. Uh, it was like a hundred frag plugs for like 30 something bucks and uh, I'm just gonna keep growing them and cutting them and uh, get different zoas and collecting them um, and I'm gonna eventually have to start pinning them on the rock, on the live rock, which I should have did already. I would like to do an order of some corals like some zoas, some z's and p's of course, some different varieties, different colors, that's why I love them. Um, I would like to get maybe a couple of LPS. I really would like to get some uh, Euphilia, um, a golden hammer, a uh, golden torch would be nice, something like that, um, and mix it up. Um, I've been checking various vendors online. Um, of course, I've been checking out uh, Coral Lust. He seems to be doing uh, a lot of stuff with Euphilias. And I think they're probably the best place to get those from. But uh, I need to look around because I kind of want to do like a one-stop shop and uh, get a good mixture of, of corals when I do get a chance to do an order. The reason why I'm kind of excited about uh, SPS is because this is uh, my red planet. It's starting to look pretty cool. Um, before, it, in my 120, it wasn't really looking all that nice. Now it has like some green and some uh, red base on it and uh, it's really dark deep colors and it's growing and 
I've never had it really look this nice. Uh, in person, it looks a little bit better, but um, I'm trying to do a, a good job of growing this thing, and hopefully it'll grow out and be really nice. I do have a few other SPS uh, monoporas. You know, monoporas are pretty easy for me to grow. Uh, they have really dark color, like this Mystic right here is just taken off. It was on a little frag plug, and it covered it, and now it's covered up that whole rock. I even got uh, it on my uh, overflow, and I'm hoping to have my overflow completely covered with the Mystic Monopora, or whatever you want to call it, Reverse Superman. Um, these other acros that I got, I got these from uh, Reefer's Garage because they were, they were cheap, and uh, I really didn't want to uh, spend a whole lot of money on them uh, just to kill them. But so far, they're still alive. You know, colors could be a lot better, but uh, you know what? I'm not an SPS master, and uh, they're doing good for me so far. Now, the Zoas and the Acans and things like that, I can grow. I don't have a problem with. But as you can see, I'm, they're starting to, if you look back at some of the other videos, a lot of these ones right here only came with one head. And now, you know what? They're six seven heads and the colors on them are really good they're opened up nice um i'm waiting just waiting for them to take off and grow like the one in the the back um this one right here i don't know the name of it but it's uh some kind of mall gatorades doing really good um also my cleanup crew i've only been concentrating on uh, snails i really don't like having these uh little crabs around uh I mean, they do do the work, but I haven't restocked them at all since I had the 120. The only thing that I have added was uh, those turbo snails. But back to the Zoas, you can see that um, lots of heads on here uh, doing good. Everything's opened up. Um, and I'm using just two T5 bulbs, the ATI Blue Plus and the ATI Coral Plus, And it seems to be doing good with the uh, LEDs. My gyre pump that I have, I have it in the center of my tank, and uh, it's been making some funny noises. And the reason why is because I haven't cleaned it. Coraline is built up on it, and uh, it's just making a grinding noise, which I'll show you here in a minute. And it's kind of annoying, but I'm going to go ahead and take it out and uh, clean it up. I'm going to take care of it myself because I don't really want to send it into a Coral View. Um, I did have an Elos auto top off. And I went back and forth with uh, Coral View. Uh, and at the end, they weren't able to fix it, but they did offer me another auto top off uh, in replace of the Elos. So it's just going to be a lot easier if I go ahead and try to clean it up myself. As you can see, I have a bunch of bubble algae in here, the, in the uh, propellers and everything. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to clean it, put it in some water in my uh, old school auto top off, which is a Kool Aid container. Mix it up with some vinegar and just let it sit, guys. Just set it and forget it. I'm also using the vinegar as a carbon source. Uh, in the previous, in the past, I had used uh, bio pellets. I really didn't like it. It was a pain in the butt trying to get the reactor and unclog from the mess of the bio pellets and everything like that. Uh, wasn't for me. Um, the bacteria blooms. And so what I'm doing, guys, is just using uh, vinegar. It's the same thing as vodka dosing, but I have a little bit more control. It's cheaper, and as you can see, it's a multi-purpose uh, liquid. Great stuff. But anyways, guys, I'm not going to hold you up any longer. hope you guys have a good one. Kick back. Enjoy your family. Um, I was barbecuing the other day, smoking some meat, some ribs. And uh, at the same time, I was kicking back and enjoying the uh, live sale from Tidal Gardens. You know, Dan always is a, a funny character. He tells these good stories. And uh, while he was doing those stories, man, I was throwing down some ribs. So uh, getting some use out of the smoker. You guys have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And take care, guys.